All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So we're in the garage. We're looking at this is my 2013 Tesla Model S. It's the 85 rear wheel drive. I was recently locked out of this car, and I initially thought that maybe the 12 volt battery was dead because in this car, a lot of the electronic components like the door handles, the door handles electronically pop out on this car. If the 12 volt battery on this car has died or is dead, has no power on it, well, the door handles are not gonna, not gonna work. I initially thought that might've been the case because I had the key inside the car, it wasn't opening. I thought maybe the 12 volt battery was dead and so I wanted to at least pop the hood open, see if I could disconnect the battery, charge the battery, jump the battery somehow. So I wanna show you the procedure on this. This is the 2013, so this is probably, uh, cars from 2012 to 2015 have this nose cone right here in the front. And pop this nose cone off and you can jump the car with this, some terminals right behind this nose cone. Now this nose cone pops off a lot easier than you might think. It's just held on by like snaps and clips. There's no bolts, there's nothing like that. So if you just get like a little pry tool, I even, the first time I took this off, I did it with a little screwdriver. Just go right, right between the chrome and the nose cone, you just pop it out. Now this is loose right now, but you'll see like you start working it and it'll start coming out and it will pop out really easily. So here's on the back side, you can see there's just a couple clips here, a couple clips along the top, clip there. Once you have that off, now it's time to locate the terminals with which to jump the car or charge the battery. You can see right here, there's a, there's a red cap and a, looks like a little terminal here. This has a cap to it, the cap has been taken off. Uh, so I put a battery charger on here. So you can you can put your just your positive clip, if you're doing a positive, if you're just doing a, a battery charger, you just put the positive here. The negative will be somewhere along here on the on the frame rail, and it's this one right here. So this is the negative. It's just a threaded bolt that's that's welded onto the frame. This charges the same way that a regular 12 volt battery does in your uh, you know like a gas car, where you just need the gra a chassis ground and a power wire leading to the battery. So luckily Tesla thought ahead and set this up. So if you do get locked out of your car, the 12 volt battery is dead and you can't get into it, you need to charge up or jump start the car through these terminals. There's a few ways you can do that. I have a battery charger here. If you got jumper cables or even if you had another, if you had another 12 volt battery, just taking some, some leads from there. So if I just get my positive and I just clip onto this onto that metal part there. If I just clip onto that, that's the, that's the positive. And if I go over to here, I want to clip onto this, that little post there. So now I'm ready to charge. The battery in this car is 12 volts. It's an AGM lead acid battery. So you just charge it, you can use just a regular, this is a little 20 amp charger. I can just plug this in, charge it up, and it'll tell me what the status is. It'll tell me if it's full, it'll give me a readout on the voltage of the battery. So this car is really no different than a, a gas car when it comes to jump starting it. Now, if you just had another vehicle pull up to it, you can get jumper cables, do the same thing, red to the positive, black to the negative, same thing on the battery on the other car, have them start that up. They'd be able to kind of jump start this car. And then you'd be able, there'd be power to the car and you'd be able to open the doors as long as you have the key or from the app, you'd be able to open up the, the doors. Now on 2016 and newer Model S cars, there's, you don't have this nose cone, there's a manual release behind the inner fender in front of the, in front of the wheel here. So in front of the wheel, if you get that same little pry tool and you pry back this inner wheel well, there's a little pull tab that you would pull and it would release one of the stages of the hood. All right, for example, so if I have this little, little pry tool here and I, and I go to, uh, there's, not the pry, there's not the little tab in there to pull because this car doesn't have it. This has the nose cone jumper leads, but you would do this on both sides, the, both the passenger and the front driver. You would pry this back, pull one side, then go pull the other side, and that would release the trunk. And then that would allow you to jump start it from while you're inside the car, while you're inside the trunk. At least get access to the front trunk if you get locked out. So it's kind of a, that's a manual release method. And once you're done charging or jumping that, you just want to release this. Putting the nose cone on, back on is really simple. You just line up these tabs right to the holes. You can see the slots here. We just line those up. If I line up the middle one, That popped on really easily. 
very easy to pop off. So guys, hopefully this was helpful information. I know I was looking for this kind of information when I, when I was having problems getting into my car. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.